What are the brand new cars we can expect to see for the upcoming Forza Horizon 5 Series 33 update that is just a couple of weeks away? Now, a lot of the community was very happy with the Series 32 recent update that just came out, including various new cars, or better, few of them being actually available in the paid car packs. It was still a generally quite a good release as of being the last few as of late. And I imagine Forza are trying to keep up that trend as they're obviously trying to monetize all these newer cars of the game, meaning the bar has been set a little bit higher. Now, just before we get started, I'll be announcing a pretty crazy car towards the end of the video. A lot of you been waiting for so make sure to stay tuned for that and comment down below what cars you want to see right now but let's go ahead and get started of course in the upcoming series 33 update if you head to the horizon festival playlist overview nothing too crazy new cars new collectible new event lab props and new events now we all know new events is a consistent thing out feature out in every single update generally would just be a few general race events that would of course have some horizon festival players challenges within them props for new events also nothing too crazy maybe something exciting but fairly regular and new collectibles is also equally as regular as that. The most interesting on this list is of course going to be the new cars which I'll be covering as this video progresses. Now some of these cars may actually be pivoted or desired for those paid car bags but the majority of this list appears to be from or for Horizon Festival Player Series which is probably going to be a little bit more fun for the majority of the community especially those who don't want to fetch up around $10 for some of those new cars. Now the first car on this list is a pretty crazy one being the Ferrari SF90 XX or an even more rare and insane version of the Ferrari SF90 Stradale which we've already seen add to the game quite a while ago. This car is pretty insane. Definitely one of the best on this list and one of the best cars I've admit have been added or meant to be added to the game in quite a while now. I'd be pretty stoked if this were to arrive in that game and I'm sure a lot of you guys would too. Now next up is a car that's been on a leaked list that have been very, very accurate recently. I've been talking about Bentleys for a while. We've seen the Bentley Continental GT and we've also seen the Bentley Flying Spur on a leaked cars list for a couple months now. Now out of these leaked cars, we've seen around 10 of them at once. Most of them have already been added to the game. The Bentley Flying Spur is one of the few that is yet to be added as well, but it's almost inevitable given the fact that the success rate of some of these cars on this list that it also will be added to the game. So a pretty cool car, very luxury, but also a bit of a sporty tone to it as well. Now the third car added to the game in this update will of course be the Maserati MC20, which is probably one of the most highly desirable on this list, mostly for the reason that people have been waiting for this car to come for a long time. I like the Bentley Flying Spur, it's also one of the cars on that leak list that are yet to come to the game, therefore it's very promising and of course it will make its eventual release and will almost guaranteed be in the Horizon Festival playlist probably the first week given the fact it's the most impactful and highly desired car in the game, which is usually the trend that Forza takes. Now of course guys, if you're wondering how to get these cars virtually instantly as soon as the update comes out, I'll be making videos doing giveaways to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that. But of course, I'm playing on a Forza modded account from MitchCutters.com. A billion credits, every single rare car in the game, and you guys can get your hands on one of these too. We even offer super wheel spin pack, credit packs, rare car packs, and more with over 10,000 trust baller reviews, as well as other games like GTA 5, Call of Duty, EFC 24, and recently Red Dead Redemption 2. So check that out, guys. But the fourth car on this list is going to be the Aston Martin Lagonda. I like the previous two. This one has also been linked on the games for our car list for quite a while now. 99% chances have probably come out either the next update or the one right after. But it's seeming to be able to be released in Series 33, and I'm very, very confident of that. The SM on Lagonda is an older car, nothing too overly crazy, but a pretty cool car nonetheless. So I'm pretty happy for it to be up, uh, coming in this upcoming release. Now, the final car I'll be covering on this list is going to be the McLaren 750S. Now, if you've been following Forza for a while, I'm sure you know the McLaren 750S is a car that a lot of people have been expecting to be coming to the game for quite a while. McLaren and Forza have a very close relationship when it comes to these releases. Pretty much as soon as the McLaren is released to be coming out at some stage in real life, we almost instantly see it pop up in Forza or even beforehand, like we saw with the McLaren Speedtail or even the McLaren Senna as a cover car of Horizon 4. Now, McLaren and Forza have a pretty close relationship, as I mentioned, with the McLarens being pretty much the only cars in Forza Horizon 5 to have the real engine sounds derived from the cars, opposed to being actually generate or AI generated, so to speak. Pretty crazy car, of course, 750S being a, basically just a better version of 720S. Not quite a 765LT, but definitely a pretty cool car added to the game that I wouldn't have any complaints about nonetheless. Now guys, comment down below what cars you want to see coming to the game, like and subscribe for more, and of course, let me know your thoughts on these upcoming cars in Series 33.